My one pan Mediterranean fish dinner is a burst of fresh flavors and tender fish cooked in just one pan. Perfect for those busy weeknights or lazy weekends. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're making a one pan dinner. We're making a Mediterranean fish dinner. So let's get started. What makes this a Mediterranean fish dinner? The flavors that we're going to use today are commonly found in the Mediterranean area. Greece, Italy, all in that area. We've got olives and garlic and tomatoes and fennel, capers, all those wonderful strong flavors. The first thing that I did was I preheated my oven to 450 Fahrenheit, which is 230 Celsius. We're going to start by oiling our pan. Just need a tablespoon or so. And I have a little brush. I want to brush it around. Really coat the pan well and as evenly as you can. This is going to keep everything from sticking to the pan. All right, we want to get this nice and coated. We're cooking everything in this pan, so you don't want anything to stick to it. Plus, olive oil is going to add some flavor. We're going to start with adding some vegetables. I'm starting with artichokes. Now, this is one 14-ounce can, which is about 240 grams of artichoke hearts that I've drained. This is in just their juice. These are not the marinated kind that come in oil and vinegar. It's just in their juice. You could also use frozen, but you want the same amount right in and we'll just scatter them about. Next up, cherry tomatoes. I have a pint which weighed out to about 300 grams. These are nice and plump. Again, scatter them about haphazardly. Olives are next. This is a half a cup which weighed out to be about 65 grams. These are pitted and I just cut them up a bit. You can use Kalamata olives, black olives, green olives, whatever kind you like. Sprinkle them out. Okay. Green peppers next. Just one. I just cut it into strips. It's going to add some brightness, some crunch, some sweetness. Garlic is next, of course. You can't have a dish from the Mediterranean without garlic. This is four cloves. I just crush them and chop them up a bit. Just like that. Let's get them all in. There we go. Fennel is next. Actually, fennel seeds. You know fennel, it tastes like licorice, looks like celery, but this is the seeds and they're packed with flavor. And it's going to go well with all these other vegetables and the fish. That's our vegetables down. Now let's talk about the fish. Today I'm using cod. I have a pound and a half, 650 to 700 grams in that area. This is just cod. I cut it into four portions. You can use any type of nice meaty fish. You can use sea bass. You could use salmon. You could use whatever you like, really, but you want something that's going to stand up to the heat of the oven. So I cut this into four portions, and we're just laying them on top. The vegetables are going to act as a rack and keep it from sticking, and it's going to add a lot of flavor. To this, we're going to add a little bit of liquid. I have orange juice. Four ounces, 120 mils. This is fresh orange juice, and I'm just going to kind of drizzle it over. Getting some on the fish. Now you may think that adding orange juice to fish is unusual, but it's a very common flavor in the Mediterranean and it's just going to add sweetness and depth. Capers is next. I have two tablespoons. I just drained them. And again, we're just going to sprinkle them about on the fish and wherever else they may go. This is going to add brightness, saltiness, that lovely caper brine. Again, all layers of flavor that we want. One more ingredient. I have the zest of one orange. And just going to sprinkle it on the fish. 
Now see, none of this has to be exact, none of it has to be perfect, but it will be delicious. Now I am gonna season this a little bit more. We have a lot of salty components between the capers and the olives, but I wanna give it just one more light dusting everywhere. And I wanna give it a good grinding of pepper. Just to balance out some of that salt. All right. Now, this is ready for the oven. Like I said, my oven is at 450, 230 Celsius. I'm gonna bake this for 30 minutes or until the vegetables are tender and the fish flakes easily with a fork. So off to the oven. All right, here we are out of the oven. Look how gorgeous this is. Now, this took me only about 25 minutes. As I said, about 30 minutes or until your fish is flaky and your vegetables are done. These pieces were not that big, so it didn't take quite 30 minutes. I started checking it 20 minutes and gave it till about 25 minutes and I pulled it out. If you were using a bigger fish, like swordfish or salmon, something that's denser, you might need to let it go a little longer. Something uh, more delicate, like flounder, would take a little less. So let's do our favorite part, the tasting, because Smell, oh, I wish you could smell this. All that fennel and olives, it's wonderful. I'm gonna start by giving myself a lot of vegetables because they're just colorful. Let's get some peppers on there. All right, there we go. And now I'm gonna take this little piece of fish here and we're gonna put it right on top. Now you see how beautiful that is. Even the orange rinds caramelize a little bit. So you can really smell that orange. Let's give it a little taste, huh? I wanna get a piece of pepper and a piece of fish. See how easily that broke apart? Oops. Let's try that again. Mm. The first thing I get from that is this wonderful, almost butteriness. The fish is nice and moist. Then, all those briny flavors and the citrus are coming together just in this wonderful complex flavor. And at the very end, there's that pop of from the fennel, a little fennel seed. It just permeated everything. This is very light and refreshing and big, bold flavors, just delicious. I think I need a second bite. Mm-hmm, mm. yeah. Look how fast it came together. Of course, we know what's next. All right, if you like this episode, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, I'm going to go eat this because I haven't eaten yet today, and this is going to be good. While I do this, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.